Hi everybody, I'm Dee. And I'm Jay. And we, we are, are Perry DJ. DJ. We are here, not in Reykjavik, <laughs> but we are getting ready to kick it off to our Reykjavik video. Yeah, don't worry. Um, in the hubbub of getting off the cruise ship, we did not find time to record an intro and welcome to the series. We're so. bad bloggers. <laughs> No, we're making it up now. Uh, but we have three full days of adventure coming up in Reykjavik because you might have seen the cruise ship didn't get us there because of the storm. Yeah, rightfully. You know, understandably so. <laughs> yeah, so today's video will pick up with us disembarking the cruise ship, finding a taxi, and getting over to our rental car for a drive down to the town of Vic. Yeah, and if you guys don't think this relates to you because it's not cruise, it oh. does though because this... Pretty much everything we did, other than staying where we did, um, you can do on a cruise ship. That's true. So some of the tours that we show and some of mm -hmm. the ideas you could definitely do while traveling via cruise. There you go. So stay tuned. <laughs> Three episodes of Iceland coming your way. It's beautiful. Shh. Check it out. Yeah. Well, here outside the terminal, we've got the city shuttle, the taxi stand, tour pickup. We're looking for a taxi. We are creeping up to the front of the taxi line. Ooh. We have come over to Blue Car Rental Iceland because they have a nice in-town office for pickup and they let you drop them off at the airport. Yes. So we've got four of us in here. They've given us a Kia Sorento. We have Jenga tetris the heck out of this luggage. We are going to make this work one way or another. Let's go explore. Let's ride. Let's so the plan for the day is we are going to drive or attempt to drive to the town of Vik and back along the south coast of Iceland. There's lots of waterfalls, mm -hmm. there's lots of craggy rocks, there's lots of lots. Yep, lots of picture opportunities. Mm. I think there's a cafe in Vik that we want to go to oh, as yeah. well. All sorts of fun there things. There might be too. puffins. There's Black Sand Beach. Yeah, and we're on land, yeah. <sighs> So I'm not going to do any road footage. Sometimes I stick the GoPro in the window and like vroom, vroom, vroom. You know, we're just going to go to be choppy as anything. But here we go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Did we go yet? Not yet. Come on. Well, our first stop is here in the town of Selfoss. We said, well, you know what? We could use a restroom and some snacks coffee, and stuff. Sure. So we're going to try to find some coffee. Cute little cafes. Let's yeah. wander and read. Look at all these landscapes. Well, apparently we're going into Joe and the Juice. <laughs> Cute. Looks like they're doing coffees, juices, little snacks and things. Just little seating zones. We've got hot lattes and iced Americanos. Can you guess whose is whose? Gee, that's hard to do. That's a hot mama right there. Well, we are all jobbed up. I guess we will let the trip continue. <laughs> So our first major stop, I should say, is the Seljalandsfoss, if I'm saying that correctly. That is this gigantic waterfall. And there's several other waterfalls just down the way. The little walking trail between them. Wow. No drones, of course. Stay on the path, of course. Hey, donation box. So we'll scroll down this nice paved trail. So this one has a path that you can walk and actually go up and around and behind this behemoth. That is interesting. There she is in all her glory. That is tall. How tall did we learn? Yeah, I never remember if the, if the facts I'm learning yeah, are meters or feet. I think it was feet. That is... You can see the scale of the folks that are currently walking the path behind it. Yeah, if you get right up there to it, I can only imagine there's some splash back there. <laughs> well, let's do a top to bottom bask while we're here. That is pretty majestic. Good gracious, how far down does it go? There it is. See as we start coming down this path, it's going to get a little misty on the walk. Yeah, so it looks like a series of steps that one can climb up there and then go behind the waterfall. I don't know, given the temperature, that we want to get quite that wet today, but it looks awesome. Oh, there's a cool photo spot out there. I mean, let's get some majestic angles now that we're a little closer. Uh, Fun fact, they have restrooms here, just in case the sound of this makes you get a nature call. 
Oh, the rains have come and attacked us. Not that we're not, you know, in the spray of a waterfall or anything. Accurate. Well, they do have foods and a little gift shop. Some learning to be done. Yeah, so yeah, this is Cellulansfoss. Ah, uh, you've also got Glufurarfoss. I'm trying. Uh, which is not too far from here. I don't know if that's a separate... I think they said that was actually a separate parking area you could go to, but... We're learning. Let's hop back in to ride. Our next waterfall basking spot is Skogafoss. Skogafoss. Oh, yeah. Which means giant wide waterfall. <laughs> it doesn't really. Nice. Yeah, it looks a little shorter, but a lot wider. Big. Let's see what we can learn. Well, one thing I've learned is that you can climb to the top via a lot of stairs. Yeah. That's what I've learned so far. Wow. Alright, let's count how many stairs there are. Are you counting? Uh huh, don't lose count. Yep. Kind of hard to tell right there because it's sideways. Then, then the pinball starts. Boom! Boom! 47,000. That's what I got too. 47,000. Oh, I'm very zoomed in, so. Let me not. Let's look over here. All right, I've zoomed out, but I got water on the lens. I'd say it's at least over 250,000. I, I agree. Did, what Devil's Peak or whatever, and um, Coco Key, and this is way more than that. That was like 212. So, just eyeballing it, I would imagine. All right, let me see if I can wipe this lens and get us closer to this waterfall. Yeah, even as you stroll up to the waterfall, you've got all this. Look at these like colorful. Is it mossy mountains? I guess. Whoop! There's the wind. There's the river. That's where they keep their D's here at Skogafoss. <laughs> I'm sure people love my Icelandic pronunciations. <laughs> well, we've come down closer to the river and there she is. I'm not going to get too close because, you know, mist, camera lenses, not a good combo. So here's how we get close. It's called Zoom. Oh, majestic waterfalls. So this one said it was considered one of the most beautiful waterfalls in Iceland. I can see that. Yeah, just all these surroundings. Plus this place, it looked like it had free parking. You had to pay to park at the other place. I don't know how much, because we forgot. Uh, they gave us a warning ticket, but not an actual ticket where we had to pay money. So guys, read signs, pay your parking. Don't be like us. Is this been over yet? Hold on, we gotta get back to the waterfall. There it is. Nice. Well, I like all the little blues and stuff in the water. Yeah, this is some colorful video, I tell you. It's like a rainy day, but it's not bad. It's so beautiful out here. Then I get misty. <laughs> We've gotten a little bit closer to the action now. I can feel the mist on my face. <laughs> well, we were heading back to the car and Dee took a detour because she saw some sheep. Look, she He's didn't even bring... No, she didn't even bring the camera over here. <laughs> Hey, friends. Hi, little bud. Bye. They're so cute. Like peeking at him through the trees. No, he was looking at me. I know. They're cute. All right, <laughs> car time. That's the closest I've gotten to. Oi. We spied a glacier off the side of the road and decided to pull in here. They were advertising glacier walks and things. And we'll let the photos by D get a few snaps of it for us. Very pretty. Anyway, let's roll onward. We have officially made it to the town of Vic, and we are hungry for some lunch. Check this place out. There's a giant iceware store over there. <gasps> Stinking cute church up on the hill. All right, let's wander. Well, one place that sounded interesting to us is the Stronden Pub. Number one. Oh, well, that's why. <laughs> Go where everybody else knows is good. <laughs> oh, cute. All right, there she be, Stronden. Let's go in. <laughs> I hope they close the door on me. I got dartboards on the wall, TVs, and all some sports. Oh, there's our Wi-Fi password. <laughs> Don't tell everybody. It's hard to guess. So there's the menu. It's on the back side. Ah, beverages. Yeah. What if they have black-eyed peas on the menu? <clears throat> 
Oh, we've got a crystal bottle of Icelandic pristine water. <laughs> Skål! Let's see how it is. Icelandic water, and I've been really excited to try it because it's supposed to be some of the best in the world. Mm. You can go to like any stream and fill it up, but like their tap water is supposed to be amazing as well. So there's... Well, hopefully it is wonderful and fantastic. It has like really <laughs> not like any sort of mineral flavor, just a nice fresh water. I'm impressed. <laughs> We also decided to get a couple of sodas. We got Pepsi Max. We've been seeing advertisements for Pe Pepsi Max everywhere. And then Apple Sin, which is like their orange soda, I guess. Is it made here? I don't know much about it. Seems local. All right, it kind of tastes like carbonated tang. Have you ever had tang? You know, they took it to the moon. The astronauts did. Carbonated tang, y'all. D has gone with what they call their fish burger, which is a fish sandwich. Lots of fries. Yeah. Ketchup. I got the fish stew, which has, I forget what sauce is it, I'm not a bechamel. It has a sauce and cheese and things on it. Mmm, looks good. Oh, that was fantastic. Anyway, it was raining, so I didn't get to record our walk over here to the convenience store. Oh, I'm literally like a kid in a candy store. What is half of this stuff? Oh, you got lamb jerky? Fish jerky? Guys, this is fascinating. They have Icelandic things that look like, well, they're kind of in like Lindor boxes. <gasps> what kind of flavors of Pringles do they have? Cheese and onion, hot and spicy paprika. Ooh, the bread over at that place was delicious. I wonder if that stuff's anything like it. They got ready to grab sandwiches, all kinds of drinks. Yeah. Oh, roasted paprika bugles, okay, a lot of paprika. Corny Big, hmm, that was my nickname in high school. Oh, we got some candy bars. I don't know what some of this stuff is, but hey. Ice Cave Bistro. I think we're gonna peek in here at the uh, Iceware store. Let me get us out of the rain again for a little bit. Giant Iceware. All right, well, we're gonna browse. We wanna look at everything in here. I just like finding out what things cost. Yeah, you like Let's doing the conversions. I think we've determined that a thousand kroner is about seven dollars. So as long as we can remember that. Well, they've got little models of the famous church over there in uh, Reykjavik. And of course, Mjolnir. <laughs> You have been itching to pet a sheep, making all I mean, your dreams come true here. I'm not allowed to just go stop and go to a random farm no. and pet a sheep. It's just not a thing you <laughs> do here. There, now I did it. And can I just say, my meal was fantastic. That stew was super hearty. The sauce was delicious. I think we determined it was Bernays. Yum. The bread was fantastic. Oh. Well, you would certainly get noticed in that. It's for like. Only if you go to like an ice cave or something where you need to be noticed and still be warm. Okay. I made that up, I have no idea, but sounds good. <laughs> They've got a bistro, souvenir section there too, cafe. <laughs> it's quite the complex here. And has found a raincoat that might be coming up in some future vlogs because it might be leaving this store with us. Yeah, I think it's a good deal and it's super warm and really made for rain, which I need. <laughs> Back out into the world! Into the car! <laughs> well, our next point of interest is this school bus. Because you know what? They have coffee in the school bus. School Beans Cafe. Oh yeah. And then you look over here and you're like, oh, awesome mountain things. Yeah, this is picturesque. All right, let's get some Java. Mind your head. Oh, I like that, yeah. If you're tall, you will feel even taller. Mind your head. If you can fit, you can sit. And we might take away. Oh, oh y'all, yeah, this is super cute. You already ordered? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so oh, there she is. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to duck. <laughs> Iceland's smallest micro roaster. Why is they show a cat on the school bus? Is, is it your magnifying glass? Yeah, so I can read everything. <laughs> wow. Oh, this place is cute as anything. Well, they've got merchandise. They've even got, in case of emergency, we have to bust out the window. They've got the good old hammer there. Yeah. What have they done to you? So this is a pumpkin party. I mean, I've never seen a party like that. <laughs> Well, I got a mocha, which also came decorated with sprinkles, marshmallows, um, and a wooden stick. That is, that is, that is. Out we go. We've been taken to coffee school. Can't open the door. Next up, my feet are standing in black sand, and that means we have come over to Reynisfjara, the black sand beach. 
you do have to watch out for waves and things like that. We're not trying to get anywhere near the water today. But we found parking here. We technically are going away from the town of Vic back toward Reykjavik at this point, but Black Sand Beach. Lady in red. Wow, modeling it already. Excellent. Now this is not normally how we dress when we go to a beach, I must say. No. But you know. Ah. Well, we're still just walking up here to some of the viewpoints, but these giant craggy rocks have caught my attention. There's some signs up here for learning. I even have a like a little restaurant over here. Ah. Oh, puffins. I don't know if we're going to see any no. puffins here today. Good gracious. I guess it could be like up here sometimes. Hazard level today is flashing high. Yes, indeed. Yes, I think the high hazard technically warns you that, you know, just be very careful going past the area of the sign. Wow, people are kind of close to the water down there. Let's get out here on this black sand. We are going to try to keep our distance. Look at all this. St structures. I don't even know the words for this. Geologic wonders. That's cool. You can see down to all these columns. I don't know if, is this basalt? I'm not actually sure. I might be getting my research confused with stuff we've been looking at for, uh, like, the UK. Like the Giant's Causeway, I'm not sure. I see y'all sneaker waves out there. Don't y'all be sneaking up here. Oh, hold on. Oh, they're sneaking. Oh no, that one sneaked. It done snuck. Some cool looking formations off in the distance, kind of through the haze or the rain. How do you stay protected from all this weather? Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> oh gosh, looks like Jim Cantori and the Weather Channel out here. <laughs> oh. Our plan is as long as we stay away from the smooth sand, Hopefully we're okay, because you know, smooth sand means recent waves, even though I'm sure rogue waves can come through here anytime they feel like it. Them sneaky suckers. Oh, one of the other things you can see down here, I believe, is a sea arch, and that might be the sea arch there. Cool. It's kind of a steep drive to get up to it, they've said. It looked okay, but we might bypass that one, but hey, we see a sea arch. Well, we will see our way back to the car. Be less daily. Well, just a few ticks up from the beach. We've stopped here now at Reynes Kirkja, which is this church in the town. Oh, cute. Gosh, look at the setting. We're still getting that breeze off of the ocean. Cemetery off to the side. Oh my gosh, excuse the wind blown footage. I'll just zoom back out. It's easier to hold the camera still, it seems like, if it's zoomed out. So here, you come out of your church. You just got done singing hallelujah amen there's your all your views and everything d's in your parking lot taking pictures it's not creepy at all horses. oh you're taking pictures of the horses back there oh uh, yep right way back there she's also got her eyes on these sheep over here oh my gosh y'all she's running for it do not oh do not put one of them sheep in your backpack <sighs> y'all i can't i don't know what to do with her she's over there looking at some sheep we're gonna hop back in the car, show you more pictures of all this beautiful scenery, and slowly head back to Reykjavik. Oh, we've made a scenic stop here on the side of the road. We saw this structure as we came in before, and we're like, let's look at that on the way back if it's not raining. And it's actually pretty clear right now. We were just intrigued because there's like a little hut down there. Oh, let's see if I can do any windy, shaky zoom footage. Cool looking though. Oh, bonus! If you go in there, there's a whole yard you can play with some sheep. Oh, there's some traffic. Yeah, there's like a stair step. Oh gosh, we had stair step entry. Yeah. Yeah, more folks have shown up now. This seems to be some kind of thing that people are going inside. We've checked on Google and there is no pin or marker explaining what this is. Just a bunch of wind and a craggy rock with a house door. <laughs> Alrighty, let's wander on. Well, we were driving by in this area near uh, Selyalandsfoss, 
and of course <laughs> this giant puffin statue that we passed by earlier so we had to come say hello it's like the closest we'll get to seeing an actual puffin today i'm sure well today Are those puffins? Oh no, those are, I think those are seagulls. The eagles of the sea. Do you have any puffin friends? Yeah, where are your, your puffin friends? They're cute too, but not Oh, it's mad! Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's raining again! <laughs> so we've just gotten settled into our Airbnb, figured out their Netflix account, which they gave us access to. And what's the first thing we're gonna watch in Iceland? Eurovision, which is about Iceland. Iceland. Yeah, and nice. Eurovision, of course. Yes, we were very close to Husavik the other day, actually, from Akureyri, I think. But I wanted to go. I, uh, let's do it. Definitely gonna watch it. <laughs> good good night. night and good morning. It's technically the next day, but we have got to say good night. It's still light, though, you wouldn't know. <laughs> yeah, so uh, tell me all about words about your day in Vic and back. I mean, no, it was such a good day. Re definitely recommend renting a car, it's mm. the easiest way to do it, um, very affordable. And you can stop as much as you want, take as many pictures, and you're not like on a time crunch, which is really cool because That's it is handy. extended journey and you have lots of sights to see along the way. Yeah. Yeah, it was really good though. <laughs> Being able to pick and choose what we wanted to do. Mm -hmm. There was a couple of waterfalls and things we skipped over, but I think yeah. we hit a lot of the highlights. Wear gloves. Ooh. That's going to be your best friend. Just take them with you. You will thank me later, even if it looks warm, it's not, it's cold. Um, and waterproof layers. <laughs> True. Be prepared. <laughs> yes. But thoroughly entertaining yep. day. Beautiful. So now we will say good night. Good night. And we will see you in the morning looking remarkably like this. So for good night fun. for now. Bye.